Our Nepal is a rich country, not in wealth, but as a confluence of people and our cultures. Stretching from the Indian plains and jungles through the middle hills all the way to the highest peaks of the Himalayan range. It is estimated that around 125 different groups exist here. Some indigenous, others moving through the waves of wars, invasions and migrations that has happened throughout history around the Indian subcontinent and the Chinese and Tibetan plateaus to the north. The making of this documentary took us along the Nepalese border with India, searching through what remains of the old dense jungles that Kipling wrote so much about, searching for the history and remnants of the Taru tribe and their disappearing culture. Their culture has been existing from Stone Age times, proven by recent archaeological excavations in the district of Dang, heartland of the Taru people since the beginning of records. Sun. Being an ancient culture predating all modern religions, Taru society is heavily connected to the land, nature and elements. They are an animist tribe. Even with the influence of the Hindu culture on all sides and the amalgamation of all Nepalese tribes by King Prithvi Narayan Shah in the 18th century, the altars and places of worship in Taru homes and temples are still adorned by the deities of their animist culture. Taru homes have traditionally been very large, direct family based groups. In olden times, exceeding 100 people within a space, with each married couple as its own cell within the group. In these modern times, many family groups have split for various reasons, but still, we found communities with over 80 members in a single home. <laughs> Taru houses were built with traditional materials of bamboo and earth. One house was for cooking, where one lady at a time would have the duty to cook for all the members. Another house was for storage of grains and harvests, while yet another house was for sleeping. 
all members together. The homes are designed to always be airy and open to escape the humid high heat of the jungle. In the main sleeping house, every couple would have their own room to share with their own individual family. Cleanliness was of the utmost importance to avoid diseases and illness. Possessions were always hung from the ceiling to keep the spaces open and clear and to be safe from monsoon floods. Finally, the walls of Taru homes are adorned in their own traditional arts, an art style that dates back to the Stone Age. हमरो सृष्टि उत्पत्ति को कथा संग जोड़िए को कला सा त्यों बने को अस्तिम की अस्तिम की चित्र कला हो थारु भाषा में अस्तिम की चित्र नहीं बनने करीन सा तरा जून हमी कलर को माध्यम बाटा जून चित्र गर्च हों तेज़ लाई थारु भाषा में रचाई ना कला बनने करीन सा Their art form is a tradition to Tarus from the beginning of their history it symbolizes the creation of the world. This art form mostly adorns the walls of their home buildings and the buildings where their food stores are housed. During the festival season of October, Taru homes are washed wall to wall in water and mud. And again, the artwork of handprints are applied afresh for another year. Chitra haru yota mato ko bhitta ma atwa mato ko arna rakne bhakari ma banaone garin sa jun Krishna Janvastami ko din अब बिहाने ही बर्ता बस नहीं ले, तेज़ लाई गोबर माटो ले पोटेरा, तेज़ वाची चामल को पीठ ले पोटेरा, एक कोट बनाने कर चिंसा, व्हाइट कोट कैनवास के रूप में बनाने कर चिंसा, अन्य तेज़ में बॉर्डर बनाने कर चिंसा, ये वाटा आयत कार को बॉर्डर, अतिव बॉर्डर पर ये वाटा मानसे को सेप में � पाँची बाटा के ही हिंदू धर्म बाटा परवाहित भाई को होना सकता है जस्ट लाइक कान है अथवा कृष्ण को सिंबॉलिक रूप मानने गरीन सा अनिते से भीतर ये उस रिश्ती उठ पट्टी को कथा देखी कृष्ण लीला को विविध घटना हरो लाई चित्रण करने गरीन सा मैं यश माया उम्मा कई सा योमा एक उम्मा कई यश मचराएरा मात्रे हम बच्चा जन्मे हो अथवा चाहे यहाँ के लिए कुने मानचे मरे हो भने ये ताटा हमें निकाल देना इसलिए नौ छोए रे हमें कर सों हम लोग ये ते बातें निकाल निकाल सों यो भने को सब बंदा स्वच्छ भने को हम लोग सं यही हो इसमें हम यो पछाड़ी को लार्ज फैमिली ग्रुप्स ऑफ़ डी एडवांटेज ऑफ़ बीइंग एबल टू डू मच वर्क टुगेदर दे all while maintaining a strong standard of living. We met one large family in Bardia district who talked about how they had to move their entire home and family from the center of their village to the edge to be closer to their fields so they could protect them at night from marauding animals coming from the jungle, especially herds of wild elephants that migrate through the year and search out farm crops to eat are especially hazardous. <laughs> आउ गए तो उतार दिया था रामायलो सा ये तारे सब पे तो हमें चेक आल सोने तब यार लेके आल सोने अरे बाग गोठे में आए मार दिया था Is it possible to imagine living in a large family with 57 members and to be able to maintain a life without family conflicts? <laughs> Compared to the strict etiquette of neighboring Hindu and Muslim homes, especially around the freedoms of female members and the choosing of partners for arranged marriages, Tarus have a more open outlook. Arranged marriages do exist, but there is a strong prevalence and acceptance for love marriages, marriages where partners choose one another. This has been common throughout the times, as does the ability for women to leave their marriage for another partner. If a woman wishes to leave her married family, she simply has to pay the balance of the family's expenses, and any children remain with the husband's family. मेरो लव मैरिज है क्या बेटी होगा तभी बाबा ने पुरी स्कूल में बीए बाया अन्य बाबू पाको हम बाबू बीरा में बाया रहना बिहाई है ना 
Chain Haru people have their own New Year time called Mag Sankranti in the month of January. During this time is much merriment and joy, but for family groups it is the time to sit together to review the year gone by and to make the plans for the coming year. What will be the aims for the coming year? Such as plantations, constructions, rituals, marriages, investments, expenses and earnings. All the people in एउटा गाउँको सम्पूर्ण आफ्नो गाउँमा चाहिँ बखिरी बसालेर कति घर नयाँ बनाउने छ कति बाटो बनाउने छ कति पुल बनाउने पछि सम्पूर्ण गाउँको योजना हुन्थ्यो अथवा कति घरले विवाह गर्ने के गर्ने हो हामी चाहिँ समग्र गाउँमा चाहिँ हामी त्यसरी चाहिँ लिने गर्थ्यौ र अहिले चाहिँ त्यो चाहिँ सुस्त 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 सब भराउँदै छ किन भन्दा के त्यो किन त्यसरी त्यसले चाहिँ महत्व दिएको थियो भन्दा कतिपय चाहिँ आर्थिक मा कम जरी उनसा हर एक बौद्धिक मा कम जरी उनसा तिस्ता व्यक्ति लाई सहयोग को लागे तेज ना हमें चाहिए योजन आप बनाओ थियो। A major trademark of traditional Taru homes is equality between members. Every family member receives equal portions at meal time. Clothing are bought together and divided equally. Equal division of chores and duties. Earnings are earned and spent together upon consensus. काम को परिवेश में लेने उनसे जो नहीं ले धान आए में इले मशीन ले दायर आके कुछ हिंजो को दिन मायू गोरील दाउत हो दाउन ये काम पुरुष को बने महिला को काम चाहे घर खाना साना बनाया रब बिहान से सब एक रे सब एक उन्होंने नाश्ता साले रे जाने रे धान वसाये रे बोक ने से सब मिले रे बोक ने के सरिये तेजस्वी सब भाई ये रचे जमी को बचा देखी बूढ़ो समन सब बिले बराबर भाग लाग। बिले बठा हलने, बठ, बठा हलने, बठा, बठा हलने। Around the full moon of October November time, young girls in Taru homes perform an austerity ritual called Gauri Puja, where for the whole month they create a worship altar, fasting and praying for a positive future for themselves and their families. The beginning and end is a large gathering of festive quality with music, dance and feasting. One of the most unique notes on Taru culture compared to their Hindu and Muslim neighbors is the traditional practice of women being adorned in tattoos. Taru women wear tattoos for different reasons. A sign of marriage is a major one. Some types of tattoos are believed to be protection from diseases. Another interesting reason we found was women believe it to be a type of jewellery, one they will take with them when they die. Another story has it that Taru women were tattooed to protect them from the wants of early Muslim invaders who became unattracted to the sight of tattooed people due to Islamic tradition. <laughs> There are only a few types of ornamental designs tattooed on Taru women, but from district to district the styles changed along with positions on the body. Ornamental designs tended to revolve around themes from the natural environment. Peacock, 
fish, ponds, trees, flowers, and so forth. The peacock team is the most common across eastern and western groups. <laughs> If the woman was from jungle areas, she would wear tattoos with animal and tree motifs. And if the woman was from an area near ponds and rivers, she would wear tattoos related to the fishes and ponds. The pond tattoo worn by Taru women is the same design as the ponds made and worshipped during the Gauri Puja of their youth. In early times, the process of tattooing was quite primitive. Using a wooden needle and natural inks, it was very painful for the women. the process of ink making was also very primitive. The soot of smoke would be collected and then mixed with water from traditional tobacco shisha pipes. now, however, times have changed. Man Kumari Taruni has been a tattoo master all her life and one of the few remaining today. She says that for the last 20 years, traditions have been changing. Modern youths are not interested to wear the tattoos of their mothers and grandmothers. Some hope to find a government job, others want to go abroad. Another common point is the belief that dark ink under the skin is a sign of socially poor people. Gidari Chaudari was born in a small village in the jungles of Chitwan now a protected national park area of Nepal, famous as a national and international tourism destination. His village and family were relocated by the government due to annual flooding, 
they were moved into a more developed area with a wider social demographic. अब इस तो तो भाई को उतार बाटी सब पे एक ठाम में जम गार्ड थारू बस बस थियो पर आपनों लैंग्वेज बाइक और बोलिंग थे ना पर घुलमुल थे ना ते दिखेरा अलग अलग बाहर बात बार संग कुने अब फेस गार्ड आखिर अलग अलग गार्ड होंडियो तो अरे इतना बाटी मिक्स बस सिले गार्ड आखिर सपोर्ट में सा चौधरी को बच्चा चौधरी भाषा ने नौ जाने को पनी कोटी पे सुनना में आयें था उन्हर को अब पालन पोषण शुरू देखेने अब ये उटा सानो अब बच्चा तो होनी तबे को ये उटा काचो माटो जस्ते तबे उले शुरू में जस्तो भाषा सीखा है उले उस्ते सीखने जाने तो होनी अब ते ते बार आहनो चौधरी भाषा नी बीर सी दिए Gidari shares how he remembers the time in his family village with mixed feelings. From one side, the jungle life and clean environment he misses very much. But from the other, isolation from facilities like roads and schools, as well as for doctors and hospitals in times of illness from the flooding, was very difficult for his community. <laughs> YouTube तीर बेस्ट है भाई, कभी पहले तो मोबाइल चलाओ दा, तारकाली पाद डाला था, तो यो तो यो टा बेफायदा भाव बनो ना, तो रा सब पे बेफायदा तो छाई ना नेट को, फायदा सा, कि नहीं कि यो इंटरनेशनल को यो टा मैग पनी हो, यो ग्लोबली। The National Park of Chitwan was created with the aim of protecting the wildlife and their habitat. Poaching was a major issue, but so was deforestation due to the expansion and demand for agricultural land for farming. राती हाती आऊँ सा आठ बजे रात भर यहाँ को किसान हरु सुतना पाको छाई ना यहाँ को सरकार लेके यहाँ मिला हेरे को छाई ना ना अनाज खाना पाको छा ना उत्पादन यहाँ भागो छा सब एक हायर जनावर ले सके को छा आये छा हाथी खाये छा चित्रे जनावर आको छा बादे लाको छा तेस तेती कई चाइने बिनाश गरे को छा यहाँ चाइने खेती किसान हरु को आऊ पूरे अब राती निश्चिरा कोई बातों तेरा जाना सो के कुछ है ना हाथी आवला की बाघ आवला की भालू आवला की के ही जान आवला भानर सब तराश भर चाइन घर में चाइन होगने मुतने को रहेगा चान। Just like the tattoo tradition of the Tarus has been disappearing, so has the root culture of the people themselves. Language, traditional constructions, rituals, even their names. Now where traditional modern bamboo homes once stood are modern cement and brick houses. Where once was hunting, fishing and farming grounds of the Taru people are museums commemorating their history and practices. Even the family names have changed from Taru to Chaudari, the name of neighboring Indian landowners. <laughs>